Hey guys, so this week we have talked about beat and note value so far, okay? We know that beat is the steady and rhythmic pulse or steady and regular pulse in music. And we know that note value is how much a note is worth. And we've just barely started talking about note value. And we're going to continue talking about note value for the next couple of days. But let's go ahead and just start the conversation on how we're going to add those um, things that we know about beat and note value into our music kind of stuff for choir. Okay, so the two syllables that I want you to know for rhythmic stuff are ta and t. Okay, so when you're working to figure out rhythm in a choir, we're going to label our notes as either some sort of ta or t. Now, it's going to change based on how much those notes are worth or how many beats those notes are worth. So any note that is a quarter note or bigger is going to be some sort of ta. Any note that is an eighth note is going to be labeled as t. Okay, so a quarter note, which we know looks like this, right? We're going to label those as ta. Okay, pretty simple. Next, if we have a half note, and we remember half notes look like this, we're going to label those as ta a. Okay, so for example, if we had a couple quarter notes in a row, it would just be ta, 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 ta. But if we have two half notes in a row, it's going to be ta, ta. Can you kind of hear the difference between those? Ta, 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 or ta, ta. Those half notes are lasting for two beats, and the quarter notes are just lasting for one, right? Next, we move on to our whole notes. Now, we know that whole notes are worth four beats, okay? So they're going to be ta, a, a, a for four beats. So a whole note would sound like ta, a, a, a. So just to review, quarter notes are going to be ta, 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 ta. Half notes are going to be ta, ta. And a whole note is going to be ta for four beats, okay? Then last but not least, we're going to have our eighth notes. We remember that eighth notes look like this, right? Like a quarter note, but with a little flag on the pole, right? We're going to call those T, okay? And remember, we can have eighth notes that are bunched together like this. Each one of those is going to be T as well. Okay, remember we have eighth notes that are by themselves like this, but we also have eighth notes that are grouped together. You're still going to call each one of those T, okay? So let's see what it would look like just with some taws in some music, okay? So these first two measures right here are two whole notes, right? And we know that whole notes are worth how many beats? Four, right? So we're going to label those as ta, a, a, a. Then we start a new measure with a new note, and we're going to call it ta, a, a, a. Okay, anytime we start a new measure or we see one of these lines in between, we're starting over. So we want to make sure that we re say that t in ta. Okay, so just these first two measures or these first two little chunks are going to be ta, a, 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 ta, a, a, a. All right, then we move on to these two measures. Okay, from here to here. We know that half notes are worth two beats, and we are going to label those as ta, a, ta, a. And then exact same thing in this next measure, ta, a, ta, a. All right, so starting right here, it's going to be ta, 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 ta. Then we move on to our quarter notes, and we know that every single one of these quarter notes is going to be labeled as ta. Okay, and I'm not going to write all of that. You don't need to watch me do that. But so if we start up here at the very beginning, and I'll do, um, I'll write along with my pen so you can see kind of where we're starting. 
Okay, but let's just say all of this. You can either say it together with me or you can tap along on your leg. It doesn't matter to me, but I want you to be following along so you can see kind of how this is going to work. Okay, so let's start at the very, very, very beginning. Ta, 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 ta. Ta 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 ta. Okay, it's really not that complicated, right? Uh, the most important thing is you just have to remember how much each one of those notes are worth or how what their note value is. And if you're still having trouble understanding that, I really encourage you to go back and watch that note value video one more time just to help make sure that you're getting it, okay? Now, next up we have our T's. Okay, our T's. Now those are our eighth notes. So remember, each one of these little blobs is an eighth note, okay? So each one of these is going to be labeled as T. Okay, so we have T, 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 and it just keeps on going. I'm gonna spare you just listening to me say that um, 16 times, okay? Next. We're gonna do all of this together, okay? Now, I'm not gonna write it in, but I am gonna put how much their note value is here. So this is four and four, two, 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 two beats, right? All of these are one and all of these are half, okay? So follow along with me, do your best, okay? Ta, 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 ta. Ta 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 Okay, goes on forever in this, but the good news is most music isn't this boring, okay? Most of the time it's going to be a little bit more interesting, but before we move on to something more interesting, what are we going to call rests? What are we going to do about those? Okay, for right now, I just want you to make a shh sound anytime you hear a rest because you remember that a rest means, um, you know, the however many beats of rest or not singing or breathing, whatever you want to do, okay? So, a whole rest, I just want you to say shh four times, okay? So, if we had a whole rest and we remember those look like this, you're going to say shh sh 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 four times because they're worth four beats a half rest we remember those look like this right those are worth two beats so we're just going to say sh sh moving on we have our quarter rest and i cannot draw these so i just make it look it's just a squiggle for me but those are just worth one beat so you're just going to say sh and then eighth rests, these are a little bit trickier because they are only worth half of a beat. So we're still going to say shh, but it has to be shorter, okay? We're not going to see a whole lot of those just yet, okay? So moving on, here we have an exercise where it's kind of a little bit of everything mixed together. We have some rests, right? We have quarter rests and half notes. And we have eighth notes here, and we have quarter notes. We have everything mixed in. We even over here have a whole note, right? Everything's kind of mixed in. So we want to make sure that we're ready, okay? So let's go through together and write all of those ta's and t's and all of that stuff in together right now, okay? So in this first measure from the beginning to there, we have a quarter note. We know that those are just... Ta. Another quarter note. Ta. Now, up next, we have a half note, and we know those are worth two beats, so we're going to call that ta ah. Now, all of these, because you have that, these bar that are connect, this bar that's connecting them, we know that they're eighth notes, okay? So we are going to call those, let me erase this, we're going to call those T, 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 and then we just have two quarter notes, which are easy. They're just ta, ta. All right, then we've got a rest. Remember on rests we say sh, ta, sh, ta, 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 
ta. And then that whole note here, we remember our whole note is worth four beats. It's going to go ta, ah, ah, ah. Okay, so let's just do that top line for right now. We'll do the next one in a second. Let's just do the top line. Okay, so we start at the very beginning. I'll have my pen showing where we are. All right, do it with me if you can. Ta, ta, ta. T, 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 ta, ta. Sh, ta, sh, ta, ta. Now that was kind of fast, so I'm going to do it one more time, but I'm going to go a little bit slower, and this time we'll, um, we'll erase this really quick so we can start fresh, okay? So let's go nice and slow this time. Ta, ta, ta. T, 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 ta, ta. Sh, ta, sh, ta, ta, ah, ah, ah. All right, now let's move on to the next one, if you're ready, okay? These eighth notes, these eighth notes we know we're gonna label as T, T, rest we're gonna sh, and, hello, and sh, T, 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 moving on, sh, T, T. Now, these, this, finally, we have something other than an eighth note, and we know that those are going to be ta, a, ta, t, t. And then to finish up this very last measure, we have ta, t, t, ta, a. All right, so finally, let's do this little bottom part together, nice and slow, because this has a lot of eighth notes. We want to go nice and slow, okay? T, T, sh, sh, T, 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 sh, T, T, ta, ta, T, T, ta, T, T, ta, Okay, so it's not too, too, too complicated, but there are some ways that it, this can get confusing, especially if you don't have note value completely figured out yet. And if you're virtual, especially, you may not have it completely figured out yet because you're not here to do all the exercises and stuff like that that we're doing. So if you need to go back and watch that note value video that's on my YouTube channel, or if it's on... Um, Schoology in the learning materials folder, wherever you find it. If you need to go watch that one more time, you can. Or if you need a little bit of extra help, even still, even after you've watched that a couple times, and maybe you've watched this too a couple times, if you're still needing help, please send me a message and I can get together and maybe we can Zoom call and I can explain things with you and answer any questions that you have, okay? As always, please, please, please make sure that you're being kind, do your best, and let me know if you need anything at all, okay? Bye, guys.